This is one of my favorite sections. Oh my gosh, is that Eldrith? Oh, please be Eldrith. Please. Okay, well today we are here in Maryland and we are back at the Middletown Goodwill. I think it's been four or five weeks since I was here last. Um, the last time I was here, it was a little bit crazy. Uh, we found a lot of stuff that was broken and a lot of stuff that had kind of high price tags on it. So I'm hoping that we will be redeemed today. So we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Wow, it's been four weeks and the Christmas is no longer here. They've moved the entire section to the center of the store. So let's do a little digging for Christmas, shall we? I think I'm gonna start with the baggies here on the end cap. Maybe we'll find some goodies. Oh, that's so cute. I can't believe that that's actually intact, honestly. Even the little ice skate. Looks like two dollars and fifty cents. I don't know if it's worth grabbing though. Mm. Christmas is so well organized. It's actually really nice. Uh, we have some Santas on this shelf. Quite a few of these little village houses. Um, I don't know them well enough to know. This one's Department Fifty Six. This one's Hallmark. <laughs> Usually it's pretty easy to tell when they're new in the box, but uh, when they're just out like this, I'm really clueless. I have to turn them over and look at the bottom. Um, I think that I've seen this one before. I can't remember who makes it though. So much to take in. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'll get back to you guys if I find something. This is a pretty glass that doesn't seem to belong here. <laughs> buck four, uh, yeah, buck forty-nine wow. on that. Must be somebody decided at the last minute they didn't want it and they stuck it here in Christmas. All right, well I'm gonna sneak it down the other side uh, because that side of the aisle is blocked off. There's not very much vintage Christmas. It seems mostly contemporary. Oh look, some Annalise. I'm a little scared to look at the prices though. I'm actually surprised. They're almost identical. I think $2.49 on those. Wow. This one seems to be missing something there on the hat maybe. $2.49. Hmm. Like I said, they're almost identical. I think maybe I'll grab the one that's in better condition. Um, on average, with Annalise, um, I can expect to get probably 8 to 12 on them. Some are more special than others, but I would say on average, 8 to 12. What is this? That's Avon. Popcorn tins. <laughs> I remember when my parents used to get so many of these popcorn tins because my dad's a pastor and so like everybody in the church would gift us these tins of popcorn and by the, by the end of Christmas our family would be so popcorn out because it would be like and it was always cheddar um, caramel and buttered and <laughs> and it would be stale by by the by the end of Christmas we would eat so much popcorn <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a giant Fitz and Floyd. This has an original price of $54 on there. Let's see what the Goodwill price is if I can manage to flip it. Only $3.49. I'm cool with that. I think uh, I'm going to stick it in my cart. And if I remember to open it up and check it, I will, but, um, gosh, it's in the box and everything. $2.49 for an Annalie, $3.49 for Fitz and Floyd in the box. 
Okay, I'm here for it. You've got my attention. Here are a bunch of boxes and things in boxes. Twinkling outdoor light set. Gosh, I don't know if I really want to go digging through boxes. I don't think I really have the time for it today, but maybe we'll go check out the hard goods and then venture back. That's something my mom might like. <laughs> and wow, the shelves are totally stocked. This is so exciting. Look at this. Tonala Kitty. Okay, well, we're looking at $6.49 on the Tonala Cat. This is a little bit high. I might make an exception on that. We'll stick it in here anyway. We'll walk around for a little bit and then maybe, maybe the kitty will make the cut. Maybe not. Four forty nine. Mm, I don't know. I don't think the hinge is right on that because it wants to separate. I like this cake plate. $3.49. Princess House exclusive. Huh. I don't normally pick up Princess House items. $3.49 on that. Poinsettia. You know what? I'll look that one up. I'm going to stick it in here for now. I don't see... Ooh. Yikes. I don't see any chips or cracks on there. So I'm going to stick that one in there to look up. And what is that? It's contemporary. I really love the design on that. Made in Peru. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Shipping on these porcelain flowers. Oh my gosh, how did I walk past that? That is an Italian hanging light. Okay, so there is a chip on the shade. This is a two-handed deal. So there's $20 on this. Um, there is a little bit of chipping here where the shade meets the metal, probably from getting banged around because it's not attached. But that is fabulous. And I'm gonna take that with me. I wanted to see what this was down here because the glaze reminds me of Francoma. Mud pie, $2.49. Alright, so here we are in the vases. This is one of my favorite sections. Oh my gosh, is that Eldrith? Oh, please be Eldrith. Please. Oh my gosh, is that the Eldrith? It does. Eldrith Pottery 2004. Oh, it's beautiful. That's so pretty. $12.49. Oh my god. Okay, that was so exciting. <laughs> I can't believe that. This is the second time I have found Elder's Pottery here in Maryland in the past month. Yeah, that's fine. And it was made in uh, Lancaster. So the fact that I found it in Maryland is just so exciting. And both times it's been like a crock. Now this is something I'd expect to find in Maryland with the crab on it. Uh, some hideous um, hot glue. Alright, I don't see much else in the vases. Just a lot of clear floral type vases. I thought this one was kind of nice with the flowers on it, but you can see it is made kind of on the bottom. 
And these are nice. Those are handmade. 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 Painted in Brazil. $149. There is an artist um, in Brazil that I really like. And um, his work is usually marked Brazil, I believe. I don't even know if it's marked with his name, but um, it's usually Flores. I don't know if this is his work or not. <laughs> Gosh, it's so noisy in here today. It's good to be back. Okay, a buck 49 each. We'll stick those in here. I noticed there was some Ray Dunn down here. This is the more modern Ray Dunn. $3.49. That's not terrible. I don't know how much the mugs are going for nowadays. I used to get like 18 to 24 for them. I feel like the prices have gone down even more. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure about those. The shelves are just so packed today. I'm not used to seeing them this full at this Goodwill. Here is the Starbucks mug, 2013. <laughs> Prices don't fail on the Starbucks mugs, though. They still have those ones high. Um, there was a piece over here. $5.49. It's just the lid to something. Huh, I wonder what that is the lid to. It's just kind of random. And those look like they are likely plated. Alright. Oh, wait. There's another raid on down there. I missed that one. Oh, let's see. Beauty. Very done. Put those together on the shelf. There we go. I just picked this up and I almost turned it over to see the bottom. <laughs> and I heard all the little glass rocks in there. So that would have been another marble incident. Be picking up little gemstones off the floor. This has an interesting shape to it. $9.49 on art pottery. That's crazy. Alright. $16.99. $7.49. Okay. Let's see what we can find over here in cookware. Some cookie molds. I love the cookie molds. Must resist the cookie molds. Those look like saucers without their cups. This looks like Monax. Made in USA. So white opalescence. 99 cents each on those. Okay. My goodness, look at this. <laughs> I kind of love it. That would be fun to do with Juliet. Those look like they could be Port Marion. But I've been fooled by the Studio Nova before. This is something completely different. This is Classic Settings by Garden... No. <laughs> this is Cl Garden Path by Classic Settings. There you go. Because I can't talk today. Spongeware. No markings on the bottom of that. Five dollars and forty-nine cents. That's interesting. I wonder if that's fused glass. Because at first I thought it was reverse painted, but it doesn't appear to be reverse painted. I think the color is fused between two pieces of glass, making it fused glass. <laughs> and underneath we have Jeanette, Jeanette glass, that um, marigold. I like the cupcake down there. All right, so I turned it over, and there is a home goods sticker on the bottom of it. So I don't think I'm gonna mess with that. I notice there's quite a few salt and pepper shakers, including some praying hands. Um, there was a woman here who came over and st started talking to me. She said, "Oh, you're the person I've been looking for. I'm looking for a reseller. I don't resell, um, but I noticed there's a, a tea set over here." And I think it's perfect for a reseller. So she was showing me um, this tea set here. 
I did actually just notice there's a hole in the left half of that. Um, but there's a uh, coffee pot. I think this is a coffee pot. And over here are all of the cups and saucers. So the whole set is here, um, but I just don't really want to mess with the set of china at the moment. So I'm going to pass on it, but it is very pretty. And she was also showing me this one, which is much older. Um, called on England. Now this one I was tempted. Um, two forty nine. I do like this. Oh, there's a chip there. Now unfortunately the lid for the teapot is missing. See, there's a chip on one of the cups. Um, the bowl is here. They have five dollars and forty nine cents on the bowl, and there's just a lot of discoloration. So I think I'm also going to pass on that. But um, those are both very interesting and pretty cool was adorable but I looked at the bottom and it is Target. Pier 1 imports made in Italy. <laughs> There's a birdie. I might stick that in there and look it up. Got quite a few things I need to look up. Now this shoe has $9.49 on it. Kind of reminds me of Whitco. I don't know if Whitco made shoes. I think I could get at least 20 bucks for that though. Ah uh, there's a big chip on it. Um, I still feel like I get at least 20 bucks for that. I'm going to stick it in here. My goodness, they have um, <laughs> slot machines here. That's kind of fun. Look at those. $120. Coin mech needs replaced. Lock drilled out. This one is $280. That's crazy. <laughs> okay then. All right, well, I'm going to look through the shelves one more time. This is probably crystal. It has the right weight to it and the right shininess. I don't see any markings on it. And I don't really know crystal well enough um, to pick up pieces that are not marked. I have to look for the pieces that are marked. Waterford <laughs> or, or something similar. Um, you won't see me picking up very many um, crystal pieces that aren't marked. Wow, this has like, that's like solid brass. It's got some weight to it. This one right here has a Lennox sticker and it's marked Lennox on the bottom. $2.50 on that. There's a thatched cottage. My birthday is June. I just one is Pearl. I made a wish on 3-3-93. Birthstone Wishing Well by David Winter. Oh, <laughs> I like that. And that opens up. Look at that. It's so sweet. Now, um, as is the case with most of these David Winter cottages, there is a chip there on the edge. It seems to almost always be the case. Okay, well, I looked up. <laughs> our uh, toucan pitcher here. Unfortunately, there's a um, number of them listed for like 12 bucks. None have sold. They have $6.50 on that, so I think that's a little bit of a stretch. I'm going to set this back. Um, I also looked up the Princess House Poinsettia cake plate. Um, I found one sold, and I'm gonna show you guys that sold listing. Um, you guys are always asking me how I look these up. This is just eBay, and I just toggled over to sold. You can see I have uh, sold marked here and completed, and that's all I've done. So this is just sold listings, and this is what is sold on eBay in the last 90 days. And one of these sold for $60. So they have $3.49 on this. Um, I feel like that's a pretty safe investment. <laughs> Even if I sell it for 40 I can start that at $4 auction and make some money on that. I just want to check it over and make sure there's no chips or cracks and it looks good. So, um, I think we're doing pretty good with everything here in our cart. I am going to send a photo of this to my mom and see if she's interested in it before I go because I don't want to take it home and then have her not be interested in it. Um, but I think that's really all I have left to do. I'm going to swing back through the Christmas and um, poke around a little bit more there, but that's it. Yeah. Alright, well I forgot to come over here and at least look at the artwork. What is this piece? H. Perowski, 1982. It's 
Kind of a simple piece. Perkowski. Huh. Maybe we should look up this artist. All right, so I grabbed it, put it in my cart, I wheeled it over there, and I tried looking it up. I couldn't find anything on the artist, um, and I don't think I really need any mystery pieces. Um, I have some artwork sitting around the shop that I need to get listed, um, so I'm not gonna mess with that, but it's pretty good up here to this. Castles are made from dreams and sand. This is $19.50. Now, the same nice lady who showed me the tea set actually came over to me. She's like, oh, did you see the, the pencil drawing over there? No. She's, you should go look at it. <laughs> She's the sweetest lady. Um, but this is really, this is actually really nice. And I'm slightly tempted. It is numbered. It's signed. But also, for the same reason that I'm leaving this behind, I don't need any more artwork. So... I'm gonna leave it, but it looks like a good quality piece and it looks like it's probably worth some money. The, I'm telling you, the artwork, some of the artwork that I find here is really on point. And um, I feel like that's one of those pieces, but I think I'm gonna head up towards the checkout now. We've got a cart full. Um, I did put the snowman back, as you can see. My mom got back to me and she said, it's really cute, but she doesn't need it. So um, put that back and that's where we're at so this again is twenty dollars this i think is twelve fifty three fifty three fifty one fifty one fifty six fifty nine fifty so uh, oh and don't forget our little Anna Lee down there for two dollars and fifty cents so i'm gonna head out to the car and i'll get back to you with the total of course after i check out i'm gonna check out first i'm gonna pay for everything i'm not gonna steal it Okay, well our total spend here today was $65. And I feel like we did pretty good for $65. We got that awesome um, hanging light, clearly Italian. Uh, there were a few condition issues. Uh, you saw there on the shade, there was a chip uh, where the shade met the metal. Um, but when it's hanging in a foyer or hanging somewhere high, you're not going to see that chip. So I wasn't too concerned with the chip. However, it was there. Uh, we paid 20 bucks for it, and I'm thinking it'll sell for at least $65, so that was really great. Um, and also the Eldrith. Oh, I love finding Eldrith, especially in Maryland. That's just crazy. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road. Um, today, I started at my farthest point, and I'm working my way back home. Normally, I start in Thermont and work my way out and then drive home, but I'm switching it up today so um anyway i'm gonna get out of here hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will stay up with you tomorrow so long i know it's nothing new but it's so good to see